Elastic audio time correction. Besides Beat Detective, there's another way to correct timing using elastic audio. I'd still recommend using Beat Detective for a drum kit. I've had, I haven't had much luck with elastic audio. The difference is that Beat Detective cuts the drums at the transient and then quantizes it into place and then does it crossfade. So the audio is actually not affected where elastic audio is actually stretching and um, like compressing the audio so making it longer or shorter and so it actually messes with the tone of it and and a lot of times it will create weird artifacts so I'd, I'd always go to beat detective for drums however i do like using elastic audio for a single tra track correction especially percussion stuff like maybe like a tambourine or a shaker sometimes um, bass guitar or if it's just like simple monophonic kind of stuff you can you can try uh, using elastic audio so that's what we're going to try today I finished the drums with Beat Detective and then recorded this hack with his bad timing. Uh, this is a critical point. If you plan on doing Beat Detective to your drums, make sure you do the Beat Detective after the drummer records, but before you record like the bass guitar and the player and the guitar player and the vocalist. You don't want to record everyone together and then do Beat Detective to the drums. Then you're just going to have a mess. So have the drummer play. Um, do the beat detective and then record everyone else over the beat detective. You have, everyone will be tight to the click and the grid. It'll, it'll sound great. So here's the hack, trying his best at playing in time. Now we'll time correct him with elastic audio. Here's the tambourine part. You can see that it's off the grid just slightly out of time with the snare drums and we want it to be tight on two and four. I'm going to turn on elastic audio and pick rhythmic. Highlight the tambourine track and then we're going to quantize this by going to event, event operations quantize and then here we have some parameters we can adjust um, basically, we want to pick quarter notes because it just plays on two and four. Turn the strength on to 100% and then hit apply. And hopefully you saw that. The tambourine snapped right onto the grid. This is what it sounds like. Perfection. Okay, here's that tambourine part that the hack played. Badly out of time. Jeez. Turn elastic audio on and pick rhythmic again. Okay, select the audio and then go up to event, event operations, quantize, and choose eighth notes for the timing of the shaker. 100% strength and apply. And hopefully you saw that that tambourine went into time. This is what it sounds like. And now we're going to treat that bass part. A lot of times you want the bass part to be exactly on time with the kick drum. It really makes a nice, tight, popping sound. You can see that this uh, bass player hack was um, a bit off time. So the first thing we're going to try is elastic audio. I found polyphonic usually works best, uh, even though you might think monophonic. Go polyphonic, then go up to event, event operations. We're going to try quantizing this again. Choose eighth notes and then apply. Kind of warbly sounding. So, this is a case where elastic audio is not working so great on this. So, let's try Beat Detective. Okay, go up to Events, choose Beat Detective, and we already have the bass part highlighted. Choose Clip Separation and then Capture Selection, eighth notes. Analyze. You might need to move the sensitivity around a little bit to get all the transients. And then choose separate. And then clip conform. Leave the strength at 100%. And then edit smoothing. Fill and crossfade. Voila. Oh, the sweet sound of rock and roll. 
All right, so there's Elastic Audio. I loaded up a tambourine, a shaker, and a bass guitar for you to line up to the bad drums. Good luck. <laughs> 